Hello everyone. Thanks for watching this video. In this video, today we are going to understand how to find the first non repeating element in array which is integer type. Okay. Before that, before watching this video, if you want to learn the basic of array operation, you must visit the array level 0 playlist which is available in API Pothi. However, I will give the link also into the description but you always note that this is the recommended part to watch before this video. Okay, This is the little advance from the level 0. Okay. Fine. That's why we have the package called com.apipothy.array.level underscore 0 1. Okay. This is just one step ahead from the level 0. Okay. So, here basically we are going to find the first non-repeating element. Non-repeating means unique element. And where condition only is that that should be first. If you see 19, 19 is repeated is here also. So, 90 is repeated two times. 24 is here and here. This is also repeated two times. Now, if you check 36, this is non-repeated and 47 is also non-repeated. Now, our goal is to find the first non-repeating element and which is 36. So, our output will be 36 only. Okay. So, here we have our input ready. Now, we are going to create the API call public public static void get non repeating element repeating element okay since this is a static method, so we can directly pass through the class name. And here we are going to pass array as a argument. And accordingly, we have to change the parameters. Okay. Now our responsibility is to secure the user input. So it's called input array. Fine. Now in input array, uh, first we have to check whether we received the value or not. So for that we already know we have the class name arrays class in that we have the two string method and where if you pass this input array you will get the value here. Okay. So let's have an SOP here to identify input array good since we found input array so what we will do is we will find the length also okay so how we will find the length so we have the length method okay so int we can save this into the length variable okay and meanwhile we can print length also okay length of array so this is called length fine we did till here now let's run this program and check whether we are doing everything correctly or not we are receiving the value 19 24 36 and 19 which is correct length of array is 6 3 plus 3 6 okay good so we are in good position now now so our goal is to find the output which is 36 and which is also a first known repeating element good so either it is non repeating or repeating how we are going to find so we have to compare the two element okay which is from array only so we are going to compare the each element so for here we are doing the basic operation we are going to have one for loop so which is going to give you the element from the loop basically which which is going to help you to scan the array okay 
input dot length we already have length variable we need not to have here length okay so this for loop will give you the for loop and we will have another for loop also called j which is again for the same array input array we are going to replace this length with length okay see we have two loops one is i and second is j and both are running on on first array only on input array only okay and we are going to scan it so first array will give you the one element that one element we are going to compare with the all the element with the help of second loop okay so what is the condition here is what i am going to tell is if input array of i equal to equal to input array of j okay then we have to say matched okay element matched okay now what we are doing is we are getting the one element from the ith means uh, through the first loop and we are comparing this element ith element from 0 to length for all the array using jth index okay so we are getting one one element that we are comparing with the each and every element of the array using the second loop my question is if you see i is also starting from 0 and j is also starting from 0 okay so first iteration we are going to compare the same element means uh, array of i if you see this is called 19 and if you see array of j also is called 19 okay so basically for first iteration if you see the both the value will be same so we don't want like that so what we will do is we will say first condition is if array of i equal to equal to array of j and i does not equal to j so we have to make sure that all two condition will be passed first condition is i should not equal to j just to avoid the duplication and if this is not then also you have to compare array of ith element is equal to array of jth element means we are finding the two identical element means two repeating element okay that's why we are saying element matched now we are going to run this program okay see one two three four means four times element got matched how see 19th got matched here 1 24 is also matched here 2 36 region max 47 region max then 24 also got matched with this 24 and this 19 got matched with this 19 okay so that's why we are getting four times okay it doesn't mean that's this two only no this 19 is got matched with the this 19 got scanned with the 24 doesn't match then it got uh, scanned with the 36 doesn't match then it got scanned with the 47 doesn't match then it got scanned with the 24 doesn't match then finally this 90 got scanned with the 90 and match that's why it got printed same for 24 also here but 36 47 doesn't got match but see, again this 24 got matched with the this 24 okay so that's why it's a four times but our goal is to not to find the matched element our goal is to find the unique element that is also first should be first see now question is that if the element what i am getting from i not available into the array doesn't got matched means we are reaching till length you need to understand this logic very clearly we got one element from i and we are comparing if you see this one we are comparing this 19 to entire element of the array if this 19 doesn't got match suppose that this 36 we don't have unique element if 36 is the unique element means which is doesn't got match with the any of so 36 got scanned with the entire element through the j loop 
So, at the end of the value, what is the j value? j value will be 6. Okay. Why j value will be 6? First 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Till 5 did not got matched. So, as soon as you get it out from this loop, so your j value will be 6 only. Okay. So, we are going to put one condition saying that if your j value is 6, okay, 6 means length of. So, if your j value j equal to equal to length, okay, if your j equal to equal to length, then return, then this is the only then input of i or j whatever then this value is only your first non repeating element ok now we are getting compilation error reason is we are printing here void ok and now we are printing uh, we are returning int so this array got resolved somehow j giving compilation error because that we initialized j here ok we have to do some global initialization okay so you do here and you remove this in from here okay got it now our main goal is to find the unique element not to find the identical element so we don't want this code to run unnecessary we are going to break this code okay since we are only interested to find the unique element so, how we will get unique element? If your j value could not able to find the element here, then your j last value will be 6, which is equal to your array length. Got it? You have to return it here. Okay. You return anything, not necessary. Okay. Anything. Our main goal is to get this one. Okay. So, element got matched and if j is equal to length means you got the first non identical number if you run this one uh, since we are printing int so i can save saying that output equal to like that okay and we can put print this output then we will got to know what is the first non repeating element first non repeating element now run this program first non repeating element see if you see first non repeating element is 36 and that's what we are printing here we don't need these are all sop these are we printed just for our understanding okay length let it be there input array let it be there now let's run it okay so first non repeating element is 36 see logic is main logic is here i am going to explain you again if you could not able to find the element through this loop then your j is reaching max which is your length of your array so if j reached the length of the array means element we didn't find and if we didn't find element that is only our output very simple logic so we are expecting 36 as a output and we are getting also 36 only okay yeah thanks for watching this video